What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I just got a, a super, super short video, just a couple quick updates for you, and you'll see just how short it is. So the first update is, is that Mike Kosicki has been removed from the COVID list. Uh, he's been activated off of it, so that is good news. Um, I do believe now all of the players and the assistant coach, uh, Godsey that we had, or you know, assistant offensive coordinator, or co-offensive coordinator rather, uh, I believe everybody now has been removed uh, from the COVID list. So that is good, um, you know, because one of my biggest concerns for this season is injuries slash COVID. Inj the injury portion is still uh, concerning and again we seem to have a new injury almost every time they practice to this point so that is still concerning but at least on the COVID side of things uh, it seems to have progressed so that's good um, <clears throat> now on the other hand uh, we have a minor minor update to the hunter long situation it's not very specific they haven't really given any like in-depth details um, you know nothing specific on what the injury is and no real timetable so we're gonna have to just kind of wait and see how that goes but Joe Shad had tweeted out I spoke with one source who said Dolphins tight end Hunter Long's injury is not believed to be season ending so it does sound as if it may not be as bad as appeared when Long was carted off with a lower body injury which would be good um, I mean, I wish they would just tell us what it is like, you know, and, and people have been talking about it like, you know, in the fan stream on Bleacher Report and in various places, you know, why don't they give give us, you know, the information or whatever. And then, you know, people will respond with, well, you know, that's how Brian Flores does business and blah, blah, blah. But I, I don't like that, dude. I don't like that. Just tell me what the fuck is going on, bro. I, I don't get what the fucking problem is. You know, and if you come up to me with the, you know, we want to respect people's health, uh, you know, they're, dude, th it's fucking football, bro. It's not like we're talking about, you know, somebody having, uh, you know, fucking cancer and they, you know, need their fucking privacy so they can handle, you know, shit with their family and stuff. This is football and this shit is football injuries. You know, if it was COVID related and, you know, they were in the hospital and, uh, you know, shit was really severe. Okay, I can get you respecting their privacy there. But dude, fucking just tell us what the goddamn injury is. Stop being a fucking jackass. Like, are you serious? Like, get the fuck out of here. Anyway, so, I mean, if that is the case, if they, if they don't disclose what these injuries are because Brian Flores has some sort of policy against it, well, he can eat my ass and needs to fuck off with that policy. I'm just saying. Like, I don't see what the big deal is in just telling us I mean, literally, and just telling us, is it a knee issue? Did he hurt his knee? And if it's his knee, well, is it is it gonna be you know is it is it uh, uh, is it bone related? Is it is it a ligament? Did he you know tear an ACL? Did he bruise an ACL or sprain it? Like what the fuck happened? I want to know. We want to know, right? And it's not there is no detriment to putting that information out there. Anyway, so. That's really it, though. Uh, that is all the news that I have. Um, just wanted to give you those updates. Gesicki is off um, the COVID list, and it at least does appear as if the injury is not going to be season ending. Uh, but we just don't know because they won't fucking tell us shit. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. And of course, as always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartero. And with that, I am out. I'll see y'all soon. Fins up.